Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out Poundland makeup. Yes, Poundland makeup. You wouldn't have thought they had makeup. But I'm not the first one to do this video. There are other YouTubers that have done this. I'm guessing a lot. I was actually walking around in Kingston the other day and I went into Poundland and I saw their makeup and I literally just grabbed a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, I literally tested all the stuff I got in this video. Um, if you want to see more random makeup brands testing videos let me know in the comments below but yeah i'm not going to talk too much and we'll just jump straight into the video um i've just got my foundation on right now so i probably look really weird but um i did get an eyebrow kit from them so i'm gonna start with my brows i always do my brows first the brand is called makeup gallery by the way this is what the eyebrow kit looks like everything did come individually packed like they were wrapped up and these palettes have like little tape on it so you know that no one's used it but it's n if you've got nails you're gonna struggle okay I've opened it. I've got my scissors so this eyebrow palette looks quite versatile I feel like uh, anyone could wear this like people of color um, even pay this I mean if you were really really pale with really pale eyebrows this shade right here might be too dark for you but I really like that there's like almost a black in there and that you can just like mix and get whatever shade you want. So this is what you, you have and these shades right here are all matte and then you've got your shimmery white shade. I guess this is the highlight. Then all my nail, I know, it fell off. I'm just going to use an angled brush. This is from my Vanity Planet brush set. I do have a an offer code in the info box on this. You get like the whole set for like... £25 or $25 instead of like $80 so definitely check the link in the info box like their brushes are really really good so I'm probably gonna mix the two darker shades together I have no problem wearing black on my brows I've done it before so I'm just mixing the black and the brown together I'm just using another spoolie from another like brow product I have just brushing that through like distributing it my brow definitely looks very strong I feel like I could have gotten away with that dark brown in the kit I want to try just the dark brown I mean I could have gotten away with the uh, brown I'm really happy with that. I mean, I do need to play around with it a bit more, but I definitely see myself using this more in the future. It's actually really not bad for a pound. I'm actually quite impressed. Let's test the lightest colour in the palette. Let me do a little swatch for you. Hmm, that's not bad actually. One pound. Please don't forget that this is one pound. Everything that I'm using is one pound. It's actually even almost too bright. <laughs> okay, so I've just applied my concealer under my eyes and set that in place with some powder. And I haven't set my lids in, in place, so I'm gonna be using this, um, do the duo eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna be using the paler color here. I just feel like this eyeshadow palette is way too light. I don't know if this is even going to show up on me. There is quite a lot of fallout with these so you just need to be a bit careful. But I just want to see if this is going to show up on me. I mean, it's actually kind of showing up on me. I feel like if you are darker than me, you won't be able to get much use out of this and the paler colour would probably go really ashy on you. This palette is alright. I mean, even the lighter colour is borderline, borderline a bit light for me. If you are lighter than me and you like cool colours, like cool tone colours, then get this. And it actually might be a good contour shade. So the next thing is this... Con define and conquer conquer define and conquer contour palette the packaging of all these palettes are actually really nice so this is in the shade medium two there was a lighter one which is great i feel like they could do with a darker one i don't know if there is there wasn't one there 
yeah i got the medium one and it comes with a cream blusher and a powder contour but i'm actually going to use the contour color in my crease just to like there's a there's a lot of fallout look at that but as you guys know i'm not someone that's bothered with fallout i just tap off the excess this is not showing up on me it's like i'm buffing nothing i haven't set my my cheeks so i'm gonna try the clean cream blusher this is the this is the bronzer by the way it's almost lighter than my skin and this is the cream blush so i'm excited to try that it's a bit light for me like it's not it's just too light it's blending quite nicely though if you're paler than me it's actually not bad i don't really know how the bronzer is working out but the blush the cream blusher is actually quite pigmented and it blended really nicely so next up i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette this is another eyeshadow duo and this is in the shade purple rain so this eyeshadow palette i feel like definitely people with a darker complexion or like my complexion can wear this because it's got a darker color and it's got a nice pretty gold i do like swatches whoa that is intense oh the light color mm -mm. Mm -mm. what is that so this is the dark color not bad this is the light one mm not that bad actually so i'm gonna just pack the dark color all over oh, where where is it gone okay it doesn't work with a brush but with a finger it definitely goes on because i got nails i can't get can't get in there that's not bad let me get close up of this actually that's actually really nice but it definitely does go on patchy i might actually pop some of that shimmer color right on top Can you guys see that it's a bit patchy but overall that looks quite pretty so if you are on a budget then i definitely recommend this eyeshadow palette Oh, I just forgot to use this. Actually, I want to use it on my lower lash, lash line. So I got this Glide Away eyeshadow stick. And it's like this pretty bronzy colour. Let's swatch this. Look, that is so pretty. And that was only £1. This is what it looks like. I definitely see myself using this. I really, really, really like that. I can't even imagine like how that would look on the top of the lid. Like that would look so pretty. Can you see it's right there? Okay, this is definitely a big thumbs up from me. Like I definitely see myself using this. I've also got this matte bronzer right here. This is the Good to Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade Matte Medium 2. There was actually a darker bronzer, but I felt like this one was dark enough for me. It's really nice actually it's not my favorite bronzer you definitely have to layer up but i am quite shocked and the fact that it, there was a darker one on this is really good i mean i think it, if you're like an nc45 you could wear the darker one but if you're any darker than that it won't it'll be too light for you so yeah i feel like they could do a bit better on darker shades but I feel like they've done okay for a one pound brand, you know. So the next thing is the another good to glow bronzer. This is a shimmer one in light three. Um, I got this thinking I could use this as a highlight maybe. This is what the highlight one looks like. Little swatch. It's a bit powdery, bit powdery. It's more of like a very, very, very subtle glow. If you're lighter than me, then you might actually like this as a shimmer bronzer. But it's giving me that slight glow, like nothing special. I don't think I'd probably be using this. I might give this someone to someone paler than me. 
but it's actually not bad for one pound i definitely recommend it for the price um especially if you're on a budget um i definitely recommend the bronzers they're just really good to me so this is a feeling blush blusher in candy floss too you guys don't even know how much i love candy floss i love candy floss so much i mean i can't really see it. i actually it is quite pigmented oh my god i must have rosy cheeks so definitely thumbs up on the blush i prefer the powder blush to the cream blusher so now on to lips i did grab this makeup gallery pout it out lip liner in nude this was the darkest lip liner i could find this is like this is like rocks it's like i picked up a rock on the floor and just decided to line my lips with it oh no what am i gonna do okay this is not working for me okay i'm disappointed with that it's super hard this is what the swatch looks like after pressing it super hard on my hand but this is so hard like literally nothing's going on it's just doing nothing for me so thumbs down on this one i did grab two pout matters matte lip colors so i got one in nice and nude and the other one was latte oh wait nice and nude is a lip gloss so this one's the matte one and this is the gloss so i'm going to try the matte one first this is latte it's like a matte lip cream and this is nice and nude i'm really digging nice and nude so anyway i'm just going to go in with a brown lip liner let's try latte this is the matte one it's not bad but i'm not no joke this literally looks like gray this is not bad Oh my god, it's so comfy. I'm actually really shocked by this. Okay, so I am digging, digging this colour. It has dried down a bit. It, is, it does transfer, but would I wear this? I actually would, like with the brown lip liner. It's actually really nice. So big thumbs up for me. And I might actually put some gloss on top just to try out. I'm not really a gloss person. The gloss is alright, like it's just a standard gloss. Um, so yeah, definitely big thumbs up on the matte one for me. The gloss is just like any standard gloss, but for pound, I would I would give it a pass. Okay, so I just forgot the last thing I had is some mascara. So guys know I'm super picky on mascara. And there was only one, so I thought why not try it? This is called the Never Ending Story Lengthening Mascara. I'm guessing this is only like length and not much volume. No no no. This looks crusty. This mascara literally looks like someone's had a shave and stuffed the hair in this mascara bottle. I'm guessing it's the fibres, but why is it so fluffy? No, it's the fibres. Oh, I wish you guys could see it. You probably can't. Wait a minute. It's actually quite good. I'm guessing like the stuff I could see are fibres and it's making my lashes look super long okay so i've just finished applying the mascara it's definitely not my favorite out there it's done really good on this eye but not on this eye i don't know why but it gives a lot of length but not much volume i don't really know how i feel about the mascara yet i mean if you are if you're if you're on a budget and you want something super cheap and something that gives a lot of length then i would recommend it Okay, so that's literally everything I got, and I was actually pretty shocked. Oh, no way, I have some eyeliner. Let's try the eyeliner at least. So this is what the liner looks like. So I'm actually pretty surprised with the brush. I thought it was going to be those, like, plastic brushes. It has these little tiny bristles. I mean, it's not the most even bristles, but I feel like this would be quite nice. Okay, the eyeliner is definitely a big thumbs up from me. Like, that was so easy to do. Just look at that. I'm not too sure how good it is with lasting power, but I will write it in the info box what I think of it. But so far, so good. Okay, so now that's literally all I have. I think I got like 30 items in total. I can't believe this whole... Everything I've used it was... 13 pounds i was super surprised by everything in this video i mean some things were just like just useless to me like for example this eyeshadow palette right here and 
the contour kit like i just can't use it um the bronzers are really good but i won't use the shimmer one because it's just too light for me and it doesn't really give it a glow um i was really impressed by this eyeshadow stick this eyeshadow stick is in a shade antique gold and i definitely see myself using it i love the liquid lipstick and the liner the eyeshadow palette wasn't too bad and another thing that i really liked was the matte liquid lipstick i do see myself using that the lip pencil there's no even i'm not gonna even give that time to talk about because that was just a huge fail so yeah that's literally everything i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely recommend their makeup range if you're on a budget they do have some good stuff so definitely go check it out the only thing is they didn't really have much testers yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye